don't start a fire you can't put out is an old saying about being careful since fires can quickly spread out of control. Decades ago, my son and his friends came in the house and said there was a fire in the field behind us that wouldn't go out. Grabbing a shovel, I went out and was shocked at the size of the fire ring. It wasn't easy, but I was able to put it out. The saying is usually figurative for actions that start a chain of events that we can't control. On the negative side of a fire burning out of control is lust, as discussed in a country song by George Strait. On the positive side, it was used in the title of a book about Fred Shuttlesworth, a leader of the civil rights movement, a movement that, despite the efforts of hateful racists, could not be put out. In the account of Moses and the burning bush, we have both the literal and figurative use of the expression. Moses was tending sheep near Mount Sinai and saw a burning bush that neither went out nor consumed the bush. Now Moses was pasturing the flock of Jethro, his father-in-law, the priest of Midian, and he led the flock to the west side of the wilderness and came to Horeb, the mountain of God. The angel of the Lord appeared to him in a blazing fire from the midst of a bush, and he looked, and behold, the bush was burning with fire, yet the bush was not consumed. So Moses said, I must turn aside now and see this marvelous sight, why the bush is not burned up. That's Genesis 3, verses 1 through 3. Going over to see it more closely, he met God, who set him on a course that would change the world, that would start a fire no one could put out. God spoke to Moses from the bush and told him of the great work ahead of rescuing Israel from Egyptian captivity. A bonfire Pharaoh couldn't control. Because this was God, the consuming fire, Hebrews 12, 29, entering history to shape it for his purpose. No man could control that. Through that nation, he would bring his son, who would immerse the world in fire, Matthew 3, 11. Jesus can start a fire in your heart that can't be put out if you'll let him. And that's a fire you don't want to put out. But you do want to come back tomorrow for another Morning Minutes in the Bible. Until then, this is James McClenney hoping you have a great day.